<clears throat> Hi, Jordan Long here. And today I want to talk about this thing that I really think should be, you know, like to be talked about. You know, talking to oneself. Now, the reason that I mention this is that for some reason there seems to be a taboo or, well, actually, no, there seems to be some type of wrong about doing it. Now, talking to yourself is not something that's outlawed, you know. It's not something that you can actually be put in jail for. But people act like that it's some type of, you know, behavior that is wrong. Now, apparently, when people talk to themselves, everybody has these beholdings. One beholding is, is that, well, Lucifer made them schizophrenic and they're talking to the voices that Lucifer put in their head. Now, if that is the... If that happens to be true for that particular person, well, the only way they're going to know that is they actually have a sock, if they actually have a brain test, you know, or bronze test or whatever you want to call it. Now, then there are people who aren't. The Lucifer did not give them any type of brain fissuation that the Lucifer makes them hear voices in their head. Um, then there's people like me who tell stories, okay? Now, yeah, it's still technically talking to oneself, but at the same time, it's not really you and yourself having a conversation. They say, as long as you don't answer yourself. I don't answer myself. It'd be like this. Well, I'm going to go and get... Well, Zena's going to get apples, but Gabrielle doesn't like the apples, and... Not like someone's going to say, you know, I disagree with that whole story. I think Gabrielle should be happy that Zena's getting apples. You know, they always have this idea that people are going to, that people are going to be concerned. Well, it's been my experience or in my wisdom that people really don't care what you're talking about or what you're doing as long as it doesn't involve them. Okay. You know, they're like, oh, people will look at it. It's like, well, they don't really look at you in that sense of looking at you, you know. Plus, I'm real quiet about it, too. I'm not, you know, really loud about it. I'm pretty quiet about it. So, the chances of somebody picking, the chances of someone saying, oh, I disagree with that story. That's the only thing that will happen, you know. It's not like this will happen. Oh, well, I think that... Oh, I think you're, I think you're mad and that you need some healer to look at your bronze. I mean, is that what people actually think? I mean, yeah, but that's not my case. And even if some healer looked at my bronze, it would find out, yeah, she just likes to tell stories out loud. You waste my time with her. That's really what it would be. At that point, that's what it would be. Because I wouldn't be one of those people that had a brain, fi a bronze situation that inquired all kinds of other stuff. It would be a waste at that point, you know. But for some reason, talking to oneself always seems to be this wrong thing, this bad behavior. It's like, unless you're like reading a book or a newspaper, for example, it's like if you're only if you're reading book craft then it's like it's excused since you're reading what somebody booked. Oh, you're, you're, you're reading book craft. Okay, that's fine. For I was afraid that you were talking to yourself. But hey, since you're reading what somebody else booked, that's fine. I mean, who came up with the double standards about that? Who said it was okay to read book craft out loud, but, you couldn't, but when it came to talking to yourself, you had to keep that real, I don't know, to yourself for some reason. Yeah, I like talking to myself, you know, I, but I'm the one that tells stories or sagas to my out loud. It's usually, that's how I differ from the other people with the bronze situations where Luther makes them hear voices in their head and stuff like that. That's not me. Okay. I'm Jordan Long and I'll see you all later.